It's here again, the Air Power Conference with Kakra Bailey, the Walking Bible. The blessing of the Lord makes a man great. You can have degree and still not be the great. You can even have money and still not be great. It takes the blessing of the Lord to be great. Don't miss this year's Air Power Conference in the following districts. Kintampo on Wednesday, 21st February 2018. Venue, the Methodist Church of Ghana, Wesley Society Auditorium. In Kwanza on Thursday, 22nd February 2018. Venue, Emmanuel Assemblies of God Auditorium. Wenchi on Friday, 23rd February 2018. Venue, Assemblies of God Auditorium, Gospel Light Revival Center, near the Pony Goyle Filling Station. There will be two sessions on each day. 10 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. For inquiries, contact 0249-217272. That's 0249-217272. AirPA, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra begins a new series titled The Question in Politics. Let's join him as he introduces his subject. Today, I want to preach on the question and politics. The Christian and politics. Hallelujah. You know, in Acts chapter 20, verse 27, Paul said, I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole counsel of God. The Bible has something to say about every aspect of your life. From your marriage, to your children, to the way you think, to the way you dress, even the way you eat is in the Bible. Oh, yeah. And I believe that it also talks about how Christians should respond or relate to politics. So it's not, a, it's not a political message, it's a Christian message. And it's also a neutral message in the sense that it is not for or against anybody. It's just Christian principles. Are you understanding me? And how a Christian should behave when it comes to politics. When we say politics, really, there are three things, you know, I'll give you three definitions of politics. It means, number one, it means activities to get elected into power. It's politics. Number two, it means to have an opinion about how a country is governed. So once you have an opinion and you voice that opinion that, oh, I think this should be done that way, that could be done this way, it's politics. Are you understanding me? So in other words, by this second definition, all of us are politicians. The third definition of politics is the people who work in a particular government and run a country. So the people who actually work there. So all the, the assemblymen and ministers or whatever, the people who work, they are politicians. Amen. But I believe that it's a subject that not much is thought about it. So because not much is thought about it, can be a question and unconsciously, uh, when it comes to politics, you may be ignorant and you may also uh, act in an unbiblical way. But as a question, you are supposed to walk according to the principles of the word of God, not by hearsay, common sense, or rumors. Somebody said common sense will bring you common results. I want to take my first reading from First Timothy chapter 2, reading from verse 1. This is Paul speaking to his son Timothy. And he's talking about politics, just a few words about politics. He said, I exhort therefore, the word exhort means to stir up or to cheer up or to encourage. The first of all, supplications. The word supplication means to beg for mercy. Prayers. This one prayers means to ask for something. Intercessions. The word inter it means between. So when we say intercession, it means somebody who stands in between God and human beings and pleads to God for the person. Are you understanding me? That's what intercession. And giving of thanks, thanksgiving, be made for all men. It says pray for everybody. Then it comes to politics. It says for kings. So here kings could be a president, could be an MP, 
could be a minister, whatever. And for all that are in authority, which means the people who rule a country. Why? This is the reason. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good in the sight of God our Savior, who have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. It says God wants everybody to be saved and to know him as, as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Thanks for listening. Today we learned through the scriptures that God expects Christians to be interested in politics. Join us in time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Healed of bad breath. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you requesting for prayer to be healed of bad breath. You replied that you had prayed for me. You also encouraged me to get the message, making the impossible possible. Indeed, God is good. I am completely healed in Jesus' name. Also, the message is impacting my life greatly. I give God all the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.